Hey, this is Matt from Animar. Today we're talking to Nate Bennett. He has a channel called OK Nate as part of the My Damn Channel Network. Hey, Nate, how's it going today? Hey, it's going pretty good. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. So the OK Nate show is kind of as like an eclectic vibe. Uh, what's the show all about, if you could just sum it up? Uh, I guess OK Nate sort of started as it's just me kind of talking about things that excite me and my general life and just what I think about certain things. And I guess uh, people enjoy having a conversation with me. And so far, I've had a lot of people that are friends of mine that have seen it and say it's just like visiting me or having a very pleasant conversation. So I guess, yeah, me talking about things that interest me or excite me or even just anything at all, but just kind of my take on it. So people seem to enjoy that. Very cool, very cool. So how'd you first get yeah. started with My Damn Channel? Uh, oh, it's funny. I was actually an associate producer on another show and the director from that show ended up working as the director of My Damn Channel Live, and he knew I was interested in do, writing and producing comedy stuff. So I started at My Damn Channel Live as a PA. And so I was a production assistant for a few months and then started being more active in the show. Like I got written to the show a couple times as a few joke bits. The audience started recognizing me on the show. So then from there, they were like, hey, you should start a vlog. Uh, so I just started producing OK Nate, and then from there, just kind of built my audience from My Damn Channel Live and also from just general YouTube viewers. Right, right, of course. Um, mm -hmm. You know, like I was saying, you kind of have a really eclectic vibe of what you do. You Valentine's Day, you did How to Ask a Girl Out. Then recently you did an unboxing that you got from your mom that was really funny. Mm -hmm. How do you decide what you're going to vlog about every day? Do you plan things in advance or is it just interesting things that happened that day? I try to plan it out, but a lot of times it's just like, oh, this seems interesting, I'll do it right now. For the Valentine's Day vlog, we kind of planned that one out ahead of time. Like Grace, we knew that Grace was going to be in and Hannah were going to be in for my own channel live. So I just messaged them ahead of time when they were in town and you know, said, hey, I want to shoot this thing for down the road and planned it out. I guess for bigger projects like that, I'll plan it out. But then sometimes there will be things that happen spur the moment that would be great. Like the box, I wasn't expecting a package. I got one. I was like, ah, oh, that'll be fun to kind of open it and riff on it because I know my mom will probably send me something specific or weird like shampoo. So it, it, uh, I'd say it's a mix of both. Uh, I, like also, if you saw my Grumpy Cat video, that was just kind of, we discovered, we got in touch with the people that own Grumpy Cat and managed to do that last minute. We just kind of threw that together. I, I would say a lot of them are planned. Like I have a list of what I want to do and then sometimes it's just whatever's coming up. L let me ask you this question because I saw the Grumpy Cat one and, I, and there's this strange phenomenon about Grumpy Cat that I'm trying to figure out. You, you, oh God, me too. You met the cat's <laughs> owner, correct? Yep. Do you believe that she has some sort of cat spirit animal within her? Because let me go with this. Number one, she refers to herself as Tabby and not Tabitha. And at some point mm -hmm. during our email co correspondence, she said that sounds perfect. P-U-U-U-R-F-E-C-T. Do you think she's actually, Grumpy Cat is actually her spirit animal? I would not be surprised if Grumpy Cat was not her spirit animal. I would say yes. I would say they have, they share very similar characteristics. They were both extremely exhausted when we came to visit them, which is apparent in the video, at least of Grumpy Cat. That cat looked like <laughs> it was going to die. At any moment, I thought it was going to die. I felt so bad. I was like, oh man, is she going to be okay to do this? She's like, no, she's like this all the time. So it was like, okay, it's just a very mellow cat. And also had, had a very long day running around New York. I honestly, I was watching that video. I was like, that cat is either dying or dead. And you're just kind of like doing the weekend at Bernie's with it. <laughs> I, I hope it doesn't come out looking like I'm just shaking around a cat that's really trying to sleep. Uh, the whole time I'm like, are you okay with this? Is it cool? And they're like, yeah, it's fine. She's cool. She was a little more active before that too. So we hung out a little bit. I was a little worried though because I'm also allergic to cats so when I was shooting that video like I had taken some stuff but uh, I was slowly getting more and more like your body, my body being like hey you should probably move away from here right now and so I was doing these takes of laying down with tartar sauce and like my body's like what are you doing no 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 but I just stuck it out anyway because it was just it was fun and you know. They were very nice and the cat was very nice. You should have wrapped it up like the end of the rock with the EpiPen shot right into the heart where you have to keep <laughs> make yourself come back to life with it. Can I just hold flares up on my head to go, grumpy cat? <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, so we've Let's do that. We've talked with a ton of people from My Damn Channel and it seems mm -hmm. like My Damn Channel is like a, a big girls club. Like there seems like there's a lot of girls hosts and a lot of shows hosted by girls. Do you kind of feel like the My Damn Channel kid brother? <laughs> I've never heard it put that way before. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm one of the, like on the vlog end, I am one of the few do other dudes. I mean, we have Nick from Slactory, who's like our token, like expert internet nerd guy, who's great. And uh, Joe, who's over there too. So I don't know, I mean, I'm one of the few. I guess you could say I am kind of that. I've never heard that label before. Uh, but I guess everybody over there, like all the other like people I hang out with over there, like Grace and Beth and stuff, they do kind of treat me like that. So that's that's a good label. Thanks. Hey, but no problem. That. Uh, with Grace, she like killed at the streamies. 
Um, she oh my she did really, really well. She's like the breakout hit of this year. How much oh, yeah. jealousy is currently uh, harbored at my damn channel? But that, does she just walk by and you're like, hey, congratulations, and then she'll leave and you'll just bite your fist like that in jealousy? <laughs> What? No, no way. We all like work with Grace. Like up until recently, we were working with her once a week on uh, My Name Channel Live, and she's just so nice and so funny and awesome. So if anything, we're just like, yeah, because like, we feel like it's part of the team, you know? Right. So it's like it's more of a team mentality. Like, oh man, good on her, well deserved. Awesome. Yeah, you guys are much more uh, uh, how would I say mature than most people. I would be just <laughs> seething with with, uh, with the jealousy constantly. Yeah, I secret I send her a box of chocolates that are poison so I can take her place. That's exactly no. There's no <laughs> ulterior motives. Um, <laughs> you're at the studios right now. What is kind of like um, shooting every day like with my damn channel? We were doing our live show five days a week, and now we're kind of on hiatus. Uh, it was pretty crazy for a while. You know, we'd have a lot of like we try to like plan out the day before. It was a lot of breakdown of okay, what are we doing tomorrow? What are we doing the next day? Wednesday was our big show for a while, so. We would plan that out the week before, and then we were doing like these daily hangouts, which relied a lot on comments and viewers. We got into this groove towards the end where I would be part of being a comment DJ, and Beth would host it. We would just kind of riff with the people and play. It was a pretty hectic schedule doing five days a week. With uh, you know, we'd also go out and shoot remotes and talk to other comedians and things like that. So it was, it was crazy town, and it's kind of calmed down a little bit. We still shoot as much stuff as we can here, you know, every day. I guess I can't really give you a breakdown because it feels like just a blur of what was happening at the time. It was just a lot, a lot of work. But it was great. It was so much fun. It's been fun, and hopefully we'll be back at some point in some iteration. Yeah, right on, right on. Do you have anything that's coming up that you're really psyched about that you can't wait for people to check out that we should keep an eye on for? Uh, I don't want to, like, spoil any of them. You know, some of them are, like, topical. Like, I want to... I want to do something addressing Google Glasses. That's one thing I want to talk about, at least why I should have some. Okay. Or at least my skewed perception of why I should have some. I'm definitely going to probably end up talking about Game of Thrones then when it comes back out, because who's not excited for that, right? Stuff like that. I don't know. No, I don't have any huge projects that I'm going to talk about right now. I'm just waiting. Did you see the new trailer for Game fight. of Thrones Season 3? No! Yeah, they have that? Yeah, check out io9. It's on io9 right now. Oh, I haven't been on IO9 in forever. Yes, that's the next thing I'm going to do literally after this interview. It's going to be cool. I can't wait. I've read all the books. I'm ready. Okay, so my last question. In terms of superpowers, would you rather have all of Aquaman's superpowers, okay, or have no superpowers and just be married to Wonder Woman? Is this the Aquaman that has, like, no hand but somehow has magic water like he got later on? Or is it just the Aquaman that literally talks to fish and has a trident? Talking fish trident one. Okay, married to Wonder Woman. Okay, easy. Done deal. Yeah. That's a, I think that's Boom. a really smart choice. I think so, too. I mean, she can fly. That's pretty great. And also she's, uh, you know, although she might kind of be in charge because she's super strong and I'm not. So, yeah. I guess the practicality of that. I don't know. The pros outweigh the cons. I'm sticking with Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool, cool. That is, that is my last question. So thanks for talking with us, Nate. We really appreciate it. Uh, where can we check out the channel? Oh, thanks. You can check me out on youtube.com slash okaynate. Hey, thanks for checking out our Skype interview with Nate Bennett. We got plenty more interviews over at our channel, youtube.com slash newmediarockstars. Go there, subscribe, and start checking stuff out.